Thanks so much for being with us this noon hour. We're on top of breaking news right now. The internal investigation of a suspended Wauwatosa police officer. An independent investigator hired by the Wauwatosa Police and Fire Commission is recommending Officer Joseph Mensa be fired. Lauren Linder is live downtown with the details. Katie and Vince right now uh, or later this afternoon, we're expected to learn the charging decision from the district attorney's office on the case of Alvin Cole regarding Officer Joseph Mensa um, when they meet with the Cole family. But right now, this independent investigator is saying that Officer Mensa should be terminated based on the extraordinary risk of a potential fourth fatal shooting. Now, Officer Mensa shot and killed Alvin Cole this past February as well as Antonio Gonzalez back in 2015 and Jay Anderson Jr. in 2016. The Cole family attorney provided us with the outside investigators' findings today. In it, the investigator writes, quote, Cole did not fire at Officer Mensa or any other officer. Cole shot himself in the arm while running away from the officers. The report also cites the Wauwatosa police chief saying that no other officer has fired their weapon more than once in the last five years except for Mensa. The Cole family attorney hopes the police and fire commission does the uh, that they listen to the report its findings and that they recommend that he is fired. Obviously, they hired him for a reason to provide a fair and unbiased um, investigation. We don't agree with everything in the report, but we do agree with the ultimate conclusion that Officer Mensa is not fit for duty and that he should be terminated for just cause. Now, a spokesperson for the Police and Fire Commission says that they've received the, the report and that they're still continuing their investigation. I've also reached out to Mensa's attorney for a comment, but have not heard back at this time. We'll have much more on all of this, including the charging decision by the DA's office, starting with our newscast at 3.30. For now, reporting live in Milwaukee, Lauren Litter, TMJ4 News.